all yes <laughs> I just got to the study room it's uh, 1443 <laughs> and I sent some emails about um, how much money a judge can order for permanent <laughs> permanent court support you know now how difficult would it be for me to have to talk to uh, child support services and explain well <laughs> I wasn't given any due process. Ouch. They would say, well, that's between you and the judge. Now, it could have been $1,560 a month. Or $1,560? Yes. Mm -hmm. Seemed like every person was going to pay for a number. Is that right? The family can do whatever they want. You know, I hadn't gotten any phone calls. No. <laughs> But there seems to be a, a real reluctance for judges to admit that they've been guilty of certain crimes. Now, why would any judge have a difficult time admitting that? You want me to pay $136,000? You know, um, I looked at the domestic violence just um, momentarily, and when you didn't give me any due process uh, between July 8th and July 22nd, yes, because I was living on Guam at the time. And then from July 22nd to uh, August 12th of 2011, yes. Again, there was no attempt of service because I wasn't a resident of Washington. And then from 8 12 of 2011, you issued a protection order, Judge Ken Williams. Now, I'm kind of curious to know exactly what's in that dissolution of marriage because you arrested me on the 27th, oh, on 27th of May for allegedly violating it. Yes. See, you, you had. Uh, you had issued a dissolution of marriage, which child support worksheets. Those are what I did read after I got out of jail. <clears throat> now, I thought it was uh, $1,560 a month. I could be wrong, but I know it wasn't $250. And then um, you served uh, the dissolution of marriage proof of service. <clears throat> and then... Um, I responded in uh, the number of days allowed by law. Yeah. Then there was the motion for default. Yes. <laughs> now, if you get one of those order of default uh, disillusions of marriage, yes, because the individual didn't know how to count the number of days and they actually responded in 91 days instead of 90. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Does the petitioner get everything she asks for when it involves a permanent order of support? Now, supposedly, it's up to the respondent's um, responsibility if they want to go to court or not. Yes. But I'd like to know, if you had actually given her uh, that motion for default dissolution of marriage, yes. Would she have gotten that uh, $136,000? See, in Washington State, you have 90 days to respond when you have children in common. Yeah. And uh, when you allowed for the petitioner to motion the court for default dissolution of marriage, <laughs> that being a fraudulent uh, contempt of court for doing something that you know is illegal. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm kind of wondering, did you look at any of the numbers? <laughs> now, when you're given... Uh, uh, public defender for the arrest, uh -huh. being indigent, pooch. How is it possible that you did not immediately stop the dissolution of marriage? Yes, Brent based and pooch, pooch. And say, you know what? I can't trust you as a petitioner for doing what is lawful. <laughs> now it's been over seventy-seven. It's been over seven years. 2060 days from Jan January, July 1st of 2011. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, when you motion in court, mm -hmm. having arrived from Guam on the 3rd of uh, July, yes, do you owe back child support for a month that the petitioner was not a resident of the state? Mm. 
I would think that it would be the first month of total residency <laughs> that you could give back child support. And <laughs> when I had read in the actual dissolution of marriage for the permanent order of support and the order for back child support, yes, when they filled out the temporary approach, order for support where I was arrested for allegedly attempting to contact her. <laughs> It seems to me very fraudulent to allow for uh, the motioning of the court for dissolution of marriage as a default, having me arrested and then knowingly putting an excessive amount of permanent child support in the temporary child support worksheets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I was living at the fifth wheel when you arrested me. Coach, I was found not guilty. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, you seem to think that, well, <laughs> I don't have to get notice of the parenting plan, the child support worksheets, yes, and the notice for the trial setting on 9-14 of 2012, yes, yes. You don't have to serve me as a father. You can just decide to give the petitioner whatever she wants. But living in a fifth wheel, having a public defender assigned to me, proving I was indigent, how is it possible that you thought that I should just pay the $130,000? Now, did you want to remove that today? See, when you do one fraudulent act, coach, you have to call into question all of the documentation that was used to petition the court for the disillusion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when you reissue the protection order, when it had to be uh, in force uh, during the whole trial. Yes. And then you reissue it because, oh, my gosh, she's going to be so angry. Now, after seven years, 2,600 days, now I'm angry. Now, there's probably a whole bunch of names of laws that I don't know of, uh -huh. but I'm going to want to speak to my sons. Do you understand, Judge? <laughs>